In this video, we will learn how to set up a very simple template to calculate your fill rate inside of Google Sheets. Before we get started, we will be using Google Sheets to build your template and a formula that will make calculating the fill rate easy. If you're not familiar with Google Sheets, you can visit another link in the description to learn more about this powerful tool. Also, there is one more assumption we will have, and that is that all items are on one order and with one customer. The formula can get quite a bit complex when you mix and match multiple orders. Okay, let's get started. Now, we've already set up our sheet to number using a row formula, and we've frozen the top row to keep things organized when we are scrolling. As we learned in previous videos, there are two elements of fill rate, fulfilled items on the order and total number of items on the order. With that in mind, we need to create some labels that contain the two elements of fill rate. Our first label will be fulfilled items. Next, we need a label that says total number of items on the order. And finally, a label that says fill rate. Now, before we begin our fill rate formula, you may want to clean up your sheet a little bit and organize it the way that you like. You may be using it a lot. Now, we're ready to get started. As we learned in our previous videos, fill rate is calculated by dividing fulfilled items on the order by total number of items on the order. To do this, we will use the if error formula. Let's begin. First, we will enter our equal sign to start our formula. Then we will type if error with an open bracket. Now we will select cell B2 with a divide sign or forward slash, and then select cell C2. Next, we want to enter a comma. This will move us to our first argument. In our case, if B2 divided by C2 is an error or cannot be calculated, we would like our cell to show up blank. To do this, we will enter two apostrophes in our argument, and then close our formula. Now, if we enter only one number, or by chance there is an error, the cell will remain blank. Next, we will grab our completed formula, copy it, and highlight the entire column where fill rate is, and paste the formula all the way down. Then replace your label in the top cell only. Finally, we want to format our fill rate so that it returns a percentage without having to multiply the answer by 100. To do this, we will select our entire fill rate column and click here. Then we will select percent. Now, when the fill rate is calculated, our sheet will return a percent. For example, 70% fill rate or 100% fill rate. Okay, let's try it out. Let's say we filled 14 items in a 20 item order. Our sheet now automatically calculates our 70% fill rate. And that's it, a simple fill rate template that you can use daily if need be. Also, this template is available by clicking on the link in the description. So you can build it if you want or have save a little time and visit our website. We hope you enjoyed this easy fill rate template using our if error formula, and we'll see you in the next video.